Hi. <laughs> Hello, welcome to uh, the 17th of April. <laughs> uh, yes, so we are now <clears throat> this far with mine by Sally Partridge. If you want to know what's happened in between, um, the magical readathon all night that happened um, Saturday and Sunday. So um, I have a video for that, so you can check that out. Um, yeah. And while we're on the subject of young adults, uh, the category of you know the children's side. I would like to take a moment to introduce you to two new honorable mention authors that I have had the pleasure of working with. Not working with this month, but I did do an in-depth review because I love her and her work and these people, Scolian and the things that they do. Um, I did work with Melina on all three books. Mm -hmm. Christie Zinn, the author of, of Magic and Memory, lives in Durban with her husband and the two teenagers. I don't know if they're still teenagers. And she currently works as an illustrator, and you can find her work on Instagram, Christie Zinn Illustrations, um, and her book of Magic and Memory. Uh, is for middle grade and up and it's a beautiful beautiful story and I have an in-depth blog post up on my blog and I shall link it down below do go check it out it's so gorgeous our next author is Melina Lewis. I think she goes as Mel for her younger audience. She is also a multi-genre author. But she is a marketing and communication specialist by day. Her first story, her first book ever, a fictional story, set in a fictional town where she lives. A fishhook. It's not a fictional town, it's a fictional story. She lives in Fishhook, so she set a story in there. This series is middle grade and up. And it starts with book one. As you can see. And uh, it follows the story of four friends. High school friends, as you can see by the cover, mm -hmm. and uh, there we go. The story continues, and this is filled with modern-day pirates and hidden treasures, and one of our characters, spoiler, is uh, destined to be a Sangoma. So, uh, do go check this out. I do have reviews up on my blog, and I shall link them down below in the description box. Okay, back to mine by Sally Partridge. This follows Kayla and Finley, and they're both in the southern suburbs of Cape Town. This is my backyard, you guys. This is my backyard. I, I know. Everywhere they've been around here. This is also written not so long ago. 2018, I think. You know, I get my years confused. It's been something happens like, how long ago was that? They said it was last year. I said, can't be. Can't be. Or something something happens and I say it's last year. And they said, no, it was like five years ago. I was like, okay. Anyway. Um, so, yes. I, I'm, I'm loving, I'm loving the things, you know. Kayla, Kayla is annoying me a little bit because, you know, uh, Kayla does silly things, even though she knows, anyway, 
I suppose, I, yeah, you know, I'm just saying that because, you know, I, yeah, whatever, but <laughs> boys are boys. And I know how boys can be. So <clears throat> that's fine. So now, um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm currently starting part two. And there's drama in paradise. Um, and like I said, I'm getting a good similar vibes to I was born for this by Alice Osman. That's for part one. I don't know about part two. Um, that was just beginning, beginning past. The vibes have stopped coming now. So yeah, so I'm gonna see you later. I am. Hello, hi, it's the 20th of April um, and I finished mine by Sally Partridge last night. Let me tell you something, I did not see that ending coming. I don't think anybody did. Um, yeah. <laughs> Look, this is a tragic love story, okay, it's fiction. It's not romance, because romance always has a happily ever after, and this one doesn't. Um, this one is about high school relationships. It's about toxic habits and, and how they become the norm, and how we choose those toxic habits because they comfort. Uh, even though we know that they're not the right thing to do. <laughs> Kayla was annoying me a lot <laughs> with some of the, de the decisions that she made. Let me let me be honest. Um, uh, me, I have to say that I don't. <laughs> okay, young adult fiction is different to young adult fantasy. Okay, we can we can agree on that, correct? Okay, cool. Now, the reason I don't particularly enjoy fiction much in young adult is because I'm not young adult. <laughs> and I haven't been young adult for a while. And I am not a fan of witnessing how youth is wasted on the young. Okay? <laughs> it's the truth. Uh, as you get older, I'm sure you will know what I mean. Um, I just see, I see how they're doing silly things and how they make dumb choices. And I, and I don't mean that in, in, you know, in any derogatory, well, yes, it's dumb. Dumb is dumb. I'm sorry. But they make dumb choices. They do silly things. They do the things they know they're not supposed to do. Okay. And then it's like, I, I, I don't know. Look, this book is really good. I did enjoy the story. I enjoyed. Ooh. Ow, 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 ow. Sorry, see, sorry, see, sorry, see. What's happening? What's happening? Um, I enjoyed Lansdowne and Rondebosch areas. Um, I enjoyed uh, the dynamics between the characters. I was, I was starting to root for them. I really was, and, 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 and there has such a thing going that, you know, love, when they realize how powerful love can be, and, and, and what they're willing to do for it, and, and what love actually is, and that they actually have it, but anyway, um, young adult fiction is really good, <laughs> um, four stars, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sally Partridge is a multi-award winner winning author from Cape Town, South Africa. Uh, she's a young adult novelist and short story writer. And these are the three books that I have from her. Sea Star Summer has won the Percy Fitzpatrick Award for 2022 and is a sapphic romance with a happily ever after. And of the three novels that I've read, 
this one is my favorite uh, her new one has just been released called the witches of hogsback so do go check that out And before we change the genre, we're going to go to sci-fi now now. I just want to tell you about Monique Biscayer Bailey, the author of The Hair with 1000 Knots. And this children's book is simply gorgeous. <clears throat> Monique is an artist a children's book illustrator and an art teacher and she has her own classes called artsu.co.za this is i think a second book and art is very very special to her it's part of her life it's in her genes and she has history with arts i shall link everything down below in the description box Look how gorgeous, bringing all the texture. Monique is from Johannesburg, South Africa, and she still resides there with her husband and her two children. Incidentally, I do have a video up where I received this book. And we talk about hair and have a guest with me. It is unfortunately too far back to link it up here for you guys. Um, oh, anyway. But this is what it looks like. So, yeah, do, do, please go and check it out. Where we have a first look at this book. And talk about it. And here in general. Da -da 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 -da. Um, yeah, and then next up. We are going to go into The Legacy by Melissa Dalport. This is book one in the Legacy series. Um, but I have my nephew coming uh, on Saturday. Um, so we have to make space for him. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> um, so I need to make sure you know, we have to wash and clean and make sure there's no spiders and, 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 and everything because he brings his own um, bedding, he brings his own pillows he's, he's, he's susceptible to a lot of things Okay, so um, we have to make sure everything is perfect so um, I don't know when I'm going to be starting this but uh, this is the next one um, and then also we have a lot of things planned so that's going to impact my reading going forward. I don't know how it's going to happen. <laughs> um, but yes, so, because I haven't seen Xavier in, in a long time. Yeah, it's, it's getting harder and harder. So, we need to do what we need to do. So, I'm going to enjoy my time with him. Uh, my brother's also going to come to stay for a bit while he's here, while he's, because he's got a bit of leave. Um, so that's going to be cool. Uh, my house is going to be full though. So full. Uh... I absolutely hate, hate, right on top of my list, hate doing dishes, let it be known, let it be said, ew.
Melissa Delport used to own and run a specialized logistics company until one day she decided she wanted to do something with the English uh, degree. So she published her first book in 2013 and is now an award winning author. She currently resides in KwaZulu Natal with her husband and three children. <coughs> Guys, hi, hi, hi. It's the 24th already. Can you believe it? We've just come back from bowling, so we've had an awesome day. Um, there's a video up, so do go check that out. <laughs> okay, so. <coughs> I'm about 100 pages in, 100 and odd pages in The Legacy by Melissa Dalport, which is dystopian, um, and spy, thriller sort of a thing. Um, let me, let me just say that, um, I've been having some trouble getting into the book because I've been reading young adult books before that. And, and you know, <laughs> if you ask me, young adult and adult language are like two different languages. Anyway, so, um, yeah. We follow the girlie's name. It's Rebecca. And, uh, obviously, not obviously, but because it's dystopian, um, we can expect resistance and rebellion. So, uh, up until this point, we found out that Rebecca is married to the president of the new United States of America, and we've read up until now how she got there. She is literally sleeping with the enemy. <laughs> so now we are where we at where she's, you know, working from the inside out. And we are meeting some of the people that she's working with. And she's recruiting new people for the resistance. So yeah. Um it's it's I, I don't know about the pacing. I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm having a hard time getting into the book. But that's only because I'm very busy and I haven't had time and I don't want to rush reading it. And that's probably why. That's probably why. Because I feel rush. Because I feel I have to rush. It's also the 24th. And I still have uh, this one and another one to read. And another one, two more books. Yeah, so... <clears throat> This is where we at. Page 106. Okay, bye. <laughs>on Thursday, the 27th of April, and it is day one of Comic Con Cape Town. <laughs> uh, so it's the 29th. Even though I still got two more tickets for today and tomorrow, um, don't think I'll be going. But I'll explain that in my Comic Con video. So <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Um, we are currently uh, on page two hundred and sixty-four, chapter thirty-one, and our darling Rebecca. Her secrets are coming to the fore. Now, again, spoiler alert, because... Spoilers? <laughs> um, her husband, the President of the United States. Okay, there's a procedure. 
that they found out and 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 he's creating a line of super soldiers okay and the resistance also knows about this and they're also doing their best now in her what what in a spy craft and in a sneaking around she's discovered that her husband has this list of people and it turns out that this list of people are candidates for this procedure now this procedure is dangerous and and people not not everyone survives the procedure and um of those people not everyone survives a procedure more than once there are three different types okay three um but okay i'm digressing i'm getting too far in the thing so anyway so she's now grabbed this thing and this list and she started to recruit them trying to um and then get them to be part of the resistance so that you know uh husbands get them there are a list of candidates who have had the procedure already yeah so she's recruiting them before her husband can uh until she makes a mistake and then her husband found out but her husband had his suspicions let's be honest anyway um so that's where we're at now now she's 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 running to the hq of the resistance and you know our, our lost love is back in the picture love from our childhood um and um yeah so now she's looking for him too and and there seems to be a, a second love interest who yes but i must say rebecca has her secrets and those are coming out and and mm, she's really badass okay really badass so yeah so that's where we at <clears throat> as far as the book is concerned <laughs> also i just realized that it is the 29th today and January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. January, February, March, April is a short month. It's 30 days. I only have two days left. And I have three more books to read. Okay. Well, about two more books. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> My house is so cold. Seriously, my house is so cold. From it only warms up in the middle of December until about the middle of March, if we're lucky. Uh, yeah, and then it starts to get cold. And now, oh, yeah. oh, it's very cold. It's, hence all all of the layers. Okay, it's warmer outside. Trust me, but I have too much shade, so it's it's not at all. Yeah. Um, so I've decided <laughs> that what I'm going to do is read. I'm going to do nothing else but read because once I've finished this one, oops, see, I didn't know that was like that. Um, I still have this one to go. Um, and then that's the end of my magical readathon TBR. I still have... Another South African author and a non-South African author to read on my TBR. Um, those are not part of the Magical Readers on TBR. Um, so I can push those over to next month. But anyway. So yeah. So let's get on with it, shall we? Let's talk more ready. <laughs> and while we're on the subject of sci-fi, science fiction, I'd like to introduce you to two new authors. The first one, Noreen Dorman, is a fellow Kaptonian, and this is her book, Sing Down the Stars, uh, which won the Gold Award for the Sunlum Prize for Youth Literature in 2019. And then I got to meet her at a library at a signing. So do go check this out. This is really good. 
Really, really. And good. then I'd like to introduce you to Ilse V. Rensburg. She's another multi genre author. Uh, this is not the first books that I've read from her, the second, second and third. Um, the first one is Blood Sipper. And uh, that's how I we met because I did the thing for Blood Sipper. Um, Slate of Hand is fantasy. Um, and it's co-written with Jason Hess, another South African author, so do go check him out. And signed by both of them, and this came in a book subscription box. Um, and this one is the sci-fi. Time Tony's book one in the Lost Days series. Also signed it for me. Bought it with my own money, ha ha. <laughs> and yeah, I'm dying to, I'm dying to, I'm dying to get it. So, multi genre author Ilse V. Rensburg uh, is currently a resident of Johannesburg, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I'm so upset. My thingy broke. Ooh. Oh no. That's the second one of that. These things are really flimsy. When they break, when you're trying to put the thing in, you're not even bending the damn thing. Anyway. Rest in peace, my gorilla tripod. I loved you so much. I'm going to miss you. Bye. <laughs> Yo, okay. And now I have to hold it like this in my hand right now. Um, I'll have to make another plan for future because that was awesome and I could put it anywhere and I was gone <laughs> oh well so okay it's you know it's just after 8 p.m and I finished Ooh, ah. oops sorry the legacy by Melissa Dal put earlier um yeah okay so like I said uh, she approached the wrong people on the list because you know it was bound to happen at some point and then you know eric had gotten them gotten them before she did but things worked out they got the resistance together they all did a what what a regroup and then they decided they're gonna go and do the big final boss battle <laughs> Um, but, you know, if you cut off the one, the head of the snake, there's, there's always another one. It's like High Hydra. So, there's always these big things, shady operations. There's always, you know, someone above someone above someone. Anyway, so now, um, there are some good characters in here. Rebecca's a really badass bitch. <laughs> Uh, and Reed is a bit of a hottie. I kind of, I kind of, I kind of like him. Book boyfriend. Hello. Yes. Um, Aiden. Mm, I, I, I don't like him much. And then maybe that's just me. Maybe he'll improve in book two and stuff. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I had a bit of a problem. Like I said, getting into the story, but I think that's because I was reading a lot of young adult before that, and then I was really busy. So, uh, yeah, <clears throat> sorry, I forgot to close some doors inside, and then people when to go make them something to eat so they were making a noise and I couldn't hear it and then the phone came picked it up so sorry about that <laughs> anyway um yeah some cool characters um it's very descriptive good world building um yeah I, I I don't know. There's a lot to unpack, and I did get confused a bit in the beginning until I figured out what was happening. 
uh, sometimes it feels like uh, it's jumping a bit too much. You're getting a flash from the past year and a flash from the past day, but but nothing actually joins up until it does. <laughs> um, I did enjoy this one. Um, and I'm giving it three and a half stars. Yeah. Because I'm looking forward to book two to see how our darling Rebecca is going to, what, what she's going to do next. And of course, I need more read in my life. Yep. Okay, next up we have Storm, oh sorry, From Storm and Shadow by Rachel Morgan. And this is a misprint copy. This is the final cover, but the print is printed the the the, the proof copy inside. Uh, why is that there? Okay, cool, I must take you out. Um so yeah. Uh, and so she sent us she sent out a whole box of these to uh, some of us books with grammars, and I was lucky to get one, so, mm hmm So, yeah, okay, that's a bit of a clunker, um, as you can see, um, it's, you know, past eight already, on the 29th, will you think, do you think I'm gonna finish this in time? Um, it's okay, we are six hours ahead of America, okay, so Goodreads will register the 20. The 30th until like 6 a.m. on the 1st. So I've got until 6 a.m. to read that book and officially say it was done in, in April. <laughs> yes, I know it's cheating, but it's not really. It's just taking advantage um, of time zone. It's the same thing. It's fine. Don't worry. So anyway, the advantage is that it's young adults, so hopefully. It'll read a bit quicker than the adult ones. So, yeah. I'm going to read and read and read and read and read. 